This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin read by Sandeepan Chakravarti. In Assam, rapid antibody tests against COVID-19 will begin today. In a tweet, Health Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma said that the test will start at the Spanish Garden area in Guwahati, which is a containment zone. The centre has given 9,600 rapid antibody test kits to Assam. Around 1.5 lakh women from 15,000 self-help groups are engaged in face mask production. In Meghalaya, two more COVID-19 testing machines have been activated in Negrims with a capacity of 80 tests per day and the machines will become operational by next week. Till yesterday, Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma said 933 samples have been tested, out of which 821 were tested negative. The results of 100 samples are awaited. Meghalaya has 11 active positive cases and one death case. He informed that steps have been taken to increase the real-time PCR test capacity by deploying GenExpert machines at Negrims. He informed that all pending bills under Manregas have been cleared up to 31st March and the DCs and BDOs should instruct the VECs to submit their annual work plans as per the guidelines to ensure that works can continue. Under the Chief Minister's special grant, a total of 2,995 people stranded outside the state have been given the benefit. A day after allowing, a day after allowing resumption of certain economic activities, the, the second government has decided to put the entire state again under complete lockdown till May 3rd in view of the spurt in COVID-19 cases in other parts of the country. Sikkim has not reported any case of COVID-19 till date. Chief Minister Prem Singh Thabang said the district and police administration shall ensure that restrictions that were in place in the first and second phase of lockdown remain in force. The state government will again review the situation in before 3rd May and decide on further course of action. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal yesterday directed officials of border districts of Kokrajhar and Tubri to screen drivers of trucks entering the Bosirhat and Srirampur gates on the Assam-Bengal border as part of the measures to contain the spread of COVID-19. He also instructed creating adequate awareness in a village near the border to report and stop anyone trying to sneak into Assam during the lockdown. The Chief Minister also directed proper selection of beneficiaries for disbursing 1,000 rupees to those who do not possess the National Food Security Act card and the scheme to provide 5 kg of rice to the beneficiaries outside the NFSA card. He also asked all village headmen and tea garden sardars to monitor smooth distribution of essential commodities among the poor and the needy. He said that farmers producers should not get wasted and the Agricultural Department should bridge the gap between the buyers and growers. The Mizoram government will provide financial assistance amounting to over 2.5 crore rupees to local volunteers, rehabilitation centers and state residents standard in different parts of the country. The meeting on utilization of the Chief Minister's Relief Fund for COVID-19, headed by Chief Secretary Lalun Moya Chuango, has decided to dole out over 1.56 crore rupees to 34 Mizo welfare associations in various cities across the country for the stranded Mizos. A total of 2 lakh rupees will be given to stranded Mizos who reside in the area where no Mizo welfare association exists. 5 lakh rupees for Chin refugees from Myanmar who are stuck in Delhi and 15, 57 lakh rupees for 15 young Mizo associations and other associations that volunteered for vigilance to prevent the spread of novel coronavirus in the state. Relief amounting to over 2.9 lakh rupees would be given to the 24 rehabilitation centers and orphanage homes that did not receive the relief earlier. The Sikkim State Cooperative Supply and Marketing Federation Limited yesterday launched a mobile ration van in Gangtok for doorstep delivery of essential commodities and food. Sikkim Agriculture Minister Loknath Sharma said that the van would deliver essential commodities at reasonable rates. All preventive measures like social distancing at selling points will be strictly adhered to. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh yesterday graced the distribution of COVID-19 prevention items to the chief medical officers of different districts of the state under the Local Area Development Fund of Outer Manipur Parliamentary Constituency, MP Lorho S. Fose. 
In all 85 thermal scanners, 930 PPEs, 510 N95 masks, 26,003 layer masks, 25,500 gloves, 85 oximeters, 8,500 surgical caps and 85 sanitizers were distributed. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.